Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the November 20th, 2017 uh, <coughs> meeting of the Pembroke Board of Selectmen. And we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just have uh, two small announcements tonight. As the uh, Town Hall Council of Aging uh, closed on Friday, November 25th, the day after Thanksgiving. And Arthur, you have um, a motion to make about uh, tax classification. Yes, I do. I want to move that we close the tax classification hearing. Second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Let's go to three to three to zero. Three to zero. Zero. Okay. Uh, we do have the police chief here tonight. Um, chief, uh, are you here to make a recommendation to the board? Yes, I am. Thank you for squeezing me in tonight. Um, I have a letter of commendation that I wish to present to Detective James Burns. Um, I just want to, uh, according to the contract, I have to bring it before the Board of Selectmen, and if you approve it, it will uh, give him a day off. I don't know if he'll ever use it or not. Um, he couldn't be here tonight because he's busy working. Uh, this has to do with um, an operation that Detective Burns worked uh, with the DEA and the task force um, Detective Burns got involved in some local investigations of drug trafficking, which led to um, bigger traffickers, bigger areas, and uh, he got involved with an, a task force of federal agents, state and local agents, uh, DEA, ATF, et cetera. And uh, last month, they arrested 25 individuals. Um, they seized 13 uh, kilograms of fentanyl, 21 kilograms of cocaine. 11 kilograms of marijuana, 2 kilograms of mushrooms, uh, $160,000 in currency, and three, over $350,000 in assets. And it was still ongoing. There was still more arrest warrants and st still more things. So uh, he, he took it that next step. You know, a lot of things that happened locally in Pembroke stem from outside of our jurisdiction, and he's uh, been able to work with all these other agencies uh, in the task force. So um, tremendous good work on his part. Uh, along with some other area detectives, and, and I wanted to recognize him, put a uh, permanent letter in his file of uh, accommodation, and award him a day off if the Board of Selectmen approved that. I'd like to give you more, but again, a lot of things are still ongoing and everything else, and, and uh, um, I also have something I'd like to give you an update also on another recent event that put Pembroke on the map. And uh, Detective Burns and uh, Detective Sergeant Kane, along with the entire uh, day shift, were involved with that. No November 4th, we had a stabbing uh, female victim, and it happened on our Plymouth Street Beach. Um, so there was a combined response of, of shift officers, our detectives, and outside agents. Um, Again, they had a lot to deal with. They had evidence, different crime scenes. They had a crime scene in Pembroke. They had a crime scene in Hanson. They had the crime scene, basically, the victim. And uh, they had a vehicle that left the scene, which ended up out of jurisdiction. And on top of all the crime scene securities and investigations, they were able to uh, gain an arrest warrant for the suspect, a search warrant for the vehicle. Um, the arrest was made in Plymouth. Uh, the subject was brought back here and uh, booked, and then brought down to Plymouth District Court, where he's still awaiting. Uh, he's being held under dangerousness. So the officers involved with that were um, responding officer Mike Horvath, shift commander, Sergeant Thomas Baragawanath. The assisting officer was Bill Brennan, uh, desk officer, and he had a tremendous job to do dealing with all of the requests, uh, was Tony Anderson. Uh, Detective Sergeant King was involved in initial investigation, happened to be working on uh, that day shift on Sunday. Detective uh, James Burns and assisting officers Colby Tyler, Kevin Doyle, and Sergeant Jodry. Uh, I'm going to put a letter in their file um, for their good work. So these are the two things I wanted to bring up today. Uh, that goes a long way in keeping the 
morale high as well when you recognize people for something positive. You know, they, they do good work every day, but some days it's it's just, you know, everything hits at the same time, and, and then you realize just how well they all work. So um, that's why I was here today. Thank you very much for uh, squeezing me in. And can I let Jake know I, he can? Yeah, we'll need to approve Chief Wall's letter of recommendation to Detective James Burns for service above and beyond the call of duty, and he be awarded a um, day off of pay. Second. Questions or comments? Hearing none. Aye. Thank you very much. Good to know that uh, all the folks are doing fine work on a daily basis, and it's it's, it's they should be rewarded when they go above and beyond their duty. So I'm glad we could be a part of it. Well, thank you very much, and uh, have a nice, quiet, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Okay, the next thing. Uh, on the agenda is a uh, vote to renew the annual licenses subject to approval of the town program and the building inspector. Uh, do you know whether they did approve these? Uh, um, to the best of my knowledge, yes, they did. Okay. Uh, we have a class one license, which is uh, the Wingwood Freshwater Marine at 447 Washington Street. And we have a number of class two licenses, Allied Auto of uh, Washington Street, and over motors of Parenthood Lane, CJ Affiliates of Mattachusett Street, Callahan Auto Sales of Mattachusett, uh, Car Care Company of Washington Street, Countryside Auto Collision of Washington Street, Tyler Works of Center Street, Rinkwater Trailer Sales of Washington Street, Jay's Automotive Consulting at Washington Street, number four, Highlander Auto Sales at Washington Street, Impact Auto Sales at Mattachisa Street, King Collision Center uh, of Exclusive Street, King's Highway Motors of Washington Street, the pre-owned Superstore at Exclusive Street, Mullen Auto Group at Mattachisa Street, Pembroke Collision at Mattachisa Street, Southeastern Auto Wholesale Mount Nash Lane, Tritown Transmission on Washington Street, Washington Street Motors on Washington Street. Washington Street Auto Sales on Washington Street. And Rotary Auto Repair on Mattachisa Street. We have one taxi license, Pembroke Town Taxi, Washington Street. We have three precious metals, DJ's Gold Mine on Smoothson Street, South Shore Diamond Exchange on Church Street, and Bell Style Jewelry on Church Street. Move to approve the renewal of the list of the 2018 Class 1 and Class 2 Taxi and Precious Metals licenses as submitted subject to the approval of the Town Treasurer and Building Inspector. Second. Any questions or comments? Every none. All those in favor? Aye. Anybody opposed? Be three, four. Uh, vote to accept the minutes of November 13th, 2017. I move approval of the minutes of November 13, 2017. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Uh, old, uh, old business. Update of unanswered. Request of the City of Brockton to repair the diversion pipe on the last apparent. Um, I did have some conversation with one of the um, water superintendents and I'm supposed to meet with him next week. Uh, I've also um, consulted the Division of Marine Fisheries and the Environmental Police, and we have um, a meeting to be scheduled for next week also after the holiday. So I'd have a better update um, while we had, had our next meeting. Uh, not a lot has taken place since last week, so um, with the holiday schedule. So. We have a town administrator's report. Uh, no, Mr. Chairman, no, not at this time. Anything for us to select one? Any new business? Yes. Uh, as you know, we had a seminar here at Town Hall over the weekend, and as part of that, uh, the group that was involved uh, from selectmen, uh, boards, and committees in town 
uh, reviewing uh, how Pembroke conducts its uh, its business, its governmental business. I want to, this board to direct the town administrator to conduct the survey that was mentioned there. I don't know how you need that worded ed, but if you need funding for that here at this time, or if you could just uh, get the ball rolling and, and yeah, let me talk to take the person and put on time. the uh, put on the uh, retreat on Saturday, and I'll touch base with her tomorrow. Take and take the necessary steps to do that survey. Okay, if, um, I'll, I'll put that in the form of a motion in, in case you need that okay. action taken. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Any other questions or comments? None of all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? It's for you, Um We have some upcoming issues. Some of the we have uh, some more licenses, 46. Uh, um, and particular licenses. December 11th, we have 30 liquor licenses, 11 live entertainment, 5 Sunday and amusement devices, and 5 license renewals. Uh, December 11th, we're going to set the select the drink schedule. December 18th, discuss the select the 2018 calendar. And January 22nd, we'll open annual town meeting tomorrow. Uh, is there a need for executive session? Uh, no, Mr. Chairman, the person that would be the subject of that is not with us at this time. Motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, kind of a short meeting tonight for the Board of Selectmen. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> And um, I hope everybody has a really good Thanksgiving. And it's tight and beats uh, over late. <laughs> the Titans and beats over late. Uh, it's probably going to be hard to do, right? But uh, you know, we wish them the best uh, to do that. I just wish everybody a, a happy Thanksgiving. And uh, see you next week. We're not going to be meeting next week. Next week. Right. Is not. So, yeah, the next week going to be uh, the 11th. We got no, it should be December the 4th. December 4th. So then we will see you December 4th and uh, have a good holiday and uh, don't eat too much turkey. Thank you.